Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video, to e 0 iqj Welcome to all new subscribers and welcome to the channel. If you haven't taken a moment to do so, hit the subscription button and then hit that bell button to stay notified. So a few weeks ago i done a video on a portable HF setup and we used a probe antenna and we used an 857 with some drone batteries. And I was originally using this cable, which is the Y cable to run two batteries together. And a comment came in over the airways and the WhatsApp to say that I was doubling the voltage and not the ampage. So running these would give me 21 volt because of the cable. So I went and checked it with me DVM and sure enough this was the wrong cable. This was doubling the voltage and not the ampage. So I've got these cables which we're going to test and we're going to test do these cables double the voltage or double the ampage. Now you want to run these batteries in parallel. So you're doubling the ampage, i.e. the runtime and not the voltage. I've also made up a, a few other leads which I'll show you. So let's take a closer look at the new cables. So this is the original cable I was going to use. Nice thick cable there. And these are the new cables. And you can see they're a bit thinner compared to them. So let's test the old cable and we'll test the new cable. That one go there. That one will go in there. And we plug in the DVM. That go in there. You can see there that's giving us 22.6 volts. So too much voltage. So this this cable has increased the voltage and not the ampage, which is not good. Let's try this cable. So black one goes in there, and red one goes in there. There we go, that's giving us oh, 11.3 volts. So that's increased the ampage and not the voltage, which is good. So that cable's a winner. Let's try the other cable. Again, 11.3 volts. So that's again increased the runtime and hasn't increased the voltage, which is a winner. Now, order myself a bag of XT60 connectors and they're very useful when you get old power supplies that don't work and you just chop the wire off put the XT60 on the end so that power lead there is centre negative and that's for the FT290R and I'm going about with just the FT290R and run one battery or two batteries but I need, really need to run one because the FT290R is only about two and a half watts I've got one of these which is another power supply made up and this is centre positive and this will work on the Midland Port Pack my little 2.4 gigs monitor and everything to take out and about and I can run that either off one, again, one battery or two drone batteries and what I had done yesterday from Robert, so many thanks Robert he sold the DXT60 connector onto this big thick power lead so I can now run these two batteries on my 857 out and about, so hopefully when the weather improves go out and about and do some tests so there we go, we've just tested the Turnergy 5 amp hour batteries and I'm glad I didn't use the old cable because this doubled the voltage and didn't double the amperage and with these two new cables they double the amperage, I had a run time and didn't double the voltage and we tested that using this 9 power multimeter from Powerfix from Lidl's it's 9 quid but it works and with a bag of XT60 connections I'm able to make up power leads so that one there will work on a middle port pack so instead of using 8 AA batteries or 12 whatever the port pack takes use that cable with a drone battery and away I go and this one here is wired up centre negative so I can use a drone battery on the FT290R and with the help of Robert he soldered on this cable so thanks once again Robert and that's a big thick power lead which I can use on my ICOM 718 and me 857 so when the weather gets a bit better 
hopefully I can go out and do some tests. I'd like to say thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscription button and hit the bell button. And I'll catch you next time. 73s from 2E0 IQJ. Bye bye bye.